guys, Steph here. Now, I received a email from a gentleman um, who, well, nice and simply, he was, well, he's looking for a pen for his mother's birthday. Now, this gentleman uh, who resides down under in Australia, we had a couple of emails back and forth and I sort of recommended this particular pen um, from what he was asking me and it's now restored and ready to go so I thought right it deserves it deserves a review because it's a gorgeous gorgeous pen what we've got here nice and simply we've got a Parker Vacumatic fountain pen and it comes in this gorgeous green pearl colour absolutely lovely it's actually in sort of sunlight in daylight it actually looks a lot better than it does on video in my opinion now this one as we'll show you in a moment as I say it's a vacuumatic um, basically this particular pen the date nice and simple let's date the pen for you if I show you the barrel imprint okay let's keep it nice and still so the barrel imprint there reads to the left it says made in Canada to the top park of Vacumatic underneath uh, registered trademarks uh, then it's got a pattern number to the right and then to the very right there it's got a date number number three so what does the number three tell us nice and simple it tell us, tells us that this pen was made in 1943 okay so we've got a 1943 um, this one is what we term as a third generation what model is it I believe it may be the uh, Parker Vacumatic Major if I'm wrong leave me a comment down below because the Vacumatics, they made so many. I mean, personally, I do actually get confused which is which. Uh, so if anybody knows anything different, please let me know. The size of the pen capped, 132mm capped around the barrel. It's a nice 12mm in diameter. If we take you up to the cap band, you can see it's got quite a wide cap band with these it's a sort of chevron pattern to the cap band there and then let's show you the you can see it's got the earlier type Parker clip there and to the very top you can see there this is the blue diamond clip and then to the top we've got this peaked peak stud to the very top of the cap there as we said vacuumatic so to the bottom here we've got this blind cap here okay and there we go we've got the plastic filler as you can see there so this one is telling us it's actually the third third generation because the first generation was a lockdown filler the second was what they termed as a speed line filler and then the third generation was this what we term as a plastic filler so let's pop that back on as I said, it's been fully restored, fully cleaned, and it's in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Now, if I actually show you another, th well, let's undo, uh, undo the cap for you. Let's show you the pen in numerous different angles. As you can see, everything's cleaned, everything restored, in gorgeous condition, even to the extent. And again, I always find it very difficult to uh, to film. So what we'll do, let's bring on the the light. And there we go. Okay, you can see there, it's got this lovely transparency inside. Has been fully cleaned. You can see the sort of the breather tube towards the section there inside. Hopefully you can see it. There we go. And then if we actually unscrew the blind cap again for you, bring on the light again. And there you go. There's the pump working inside. 
so that's how we fill the pen we dip the nib and the section in the ink and we press down numerous times on the pump so you can see it's got lovely transparency to the barrel as well let's take it up to the section just above the threads um, these particular pens have quite a small section there it's got this ridge towards the nib and then if we show you the nib because it's got a nice a lovely nib let's keep it nice and still for you and hopefully it focuses because we've got a 14 carat Parker Vacumatic registered trademark down at the bottom it says made in Canada and what you can't see because it's hidden inside the section it's actually got the correct matching nib because it's got the number three to the bottom of the nib which corresponds as we've said just before to 1943 okay there's the sideways view there there's the feed underneath lovely and clean the feed gets taken out the nib gets taken out everything's cleaned and it looks absolutely gorgeous a lovely size pen personally as I've said numerous times I've got quite large hands and even in my large hands it's nice and comfortable to actually hold so a gorgeous gorgeous pen now because as I say it's hopefully going to the customer in Australia uh, for his mother as I said we've cleaned everything so I'm going to leave the filling to well leave that pleasure to his mother she can put her favorite ink inside the pen and go off and write with the pen but what we like to do because I don't know if you've noticed as we've said earlier just showed you earlier you can see it's got quite long tines okay so it'll be interesting to see how the pen actually writes now he didn't actually ask for a medium well fine or medium and looking at the nib I think it might be a fine line so what we're going to do we'll do we'll do a dip test so what we have is a a Parker Parker Vacumatic as we said before this one is from 1943 and as we've just showed you made in Canada okay and the color of this pen on these vacuumatics this one is what they term as green pearl now I'm putting not a lot of pressure on you can see it's writing with a lovely fine line now if I apply a little bit of pressure which is quite surprising for Parker sort of vacuumatic nibs but it does actually have a little bit of flex Okay, and it's actually a a lovely a lovely writer so yeah one of the specifications the gentleman asked for he said he'd like a fine lap fine sort of nib so as we can see the pen's writing very nicely with a fine line and again with a little bit of downward pressure on the nib we can actually achieve a little bit of line variation so I'm sure he's going to be more than happy so what we'll do we'll clean that nib after the video and there we have it so we've got a Parker Vacumatic this is the third generation with the as we've just shown you with the plastic pump filler um, incidentally the I think the plastic pump filler that was actually introduced around about 1942 I believe so yep 1943 as a date sounds spot on 
and again is it the Parker Vacumatic Major with this large cap band with these sort of chevron patterns going round it okay is that the correct model once again you know we'd like to help everybody each other if it's wrong let us know but a superb gorgeous pen Parky Vacumatic pump filler in this lovely green what they term as green pearl it's got this lovely sort of shimmering green pearl pattern gorgeous so I hope you would well I hope you like the pen Paul and I hope uh, well if you do go ahead with it I hope your mother will have many years of enjoyment with this pen I'm sure she will but don't forget people any comments down below don't be shy down below give the video a thumbs up as well don't be shy subscribe to the channel and you don't miss any videos and yeah from this pen I'm gonna say Slavo Kriini and from me I'm going to say bye bye for now <laughs>